to you are listening. Like the homework is not going to change this week. We actually we do patterns for a couple days. Okay, we will take an exam next week. We would take it this week, but do you know Friday is a one o'clock dismissal? Do you know? Mm -hmm. that? Yes. Okay, well now you know. Okay, so it kind of messes with the schedule. So normally we would take it Friday. We'll take it next week. Okay, so I'm not that worried about it. But this will continue to be your homework. The patterns will crank up a little bit today and tomorrow. That is a good thing. Okay. Um, still not handing anything in. I'm going to show that to you on Friday. What I would like for you to do, though, a little bit different. Okay, just for the start of the class, I'm going to randomly put you into groups. And I would like for you to just find that person and talk about what equations do you have. Okay, and even working we're probably with the same people over and over again, that's fine. Okay, I totally understand it. But just for the beginning here, I want you to find the person that you get partnered up with, and I want you to share your equations, okay? All right, so let's see here. Don't, it, this doesn't count. Okay. All right, so I gotta take myself out. Because everybody wants to be in that group, so I thought that would be that way. Okay, all right, hopefully you all know each other. It'll show them all again, don't worry, if you forget. And I said this, if you go by something else, I'll fix it at some point. Like, I know you go by Addy, I'll fix all that stuff later. I just copied this out to our school. So it kind of fits. That's a great question, great point. So those are the groups. Um, let's get wild. Let's put the Isaacs together. And then the people that were with Isaacs, you go together. And then I'll fix it at some point. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just a couple of minutes comparing groups. Let's go. There's always at least two people that have together that are already. That happens every year. Put the Isaacs together. And then I will separate the eyes into the names of that song. Whatever that's called. from somebody that doesn't like working with people most of the time. I prefer to do things myself, okay, in the comfort zone, but, you know, don't, don't be afraid. Okay, um, we're going to have some people come up and show. Now, there's a lot for this pattern. There's, there, there's a ton, okay? I'm only going to show you the most popular ones I've seen over the years, okay? I have them listed on the board, 
Okay, I would imagine you have at least a handful of them. Pretty much everybody has, in my opinion, the, the first three. Those ones are very, very, very common. Maybe even the first four. Now from there, it gets totally bonkers. There's a couple of wild ones out there. But I'm going to have some people come up. Just a reminder, if you're going to show different colors, just three dots, just tap it, like real gentle. Okay, the harder you fight this thing, the more it fights back. And you know who usually wins between the board and the person? The board. The board wins almost all the time. So don't like, be up here smacking it. Just real, real gentle, right there. It's okay. That's how you change colors, and you can like underline your N, your N plus one, yada, yada, yada. This is good practice for you, because when you take this exam next week, if I tell you it looks okay in class, that means it looks okay like that on an exam. Okay, that's like a general idea. Anybody want the first one? N times N plus one plus one? Terry? How many of you have this one? This is the true extra corner, right? Mm -hmm. Right. You all, yeah, you're also free to use the calligraphy, calligraphy pen if you're yeah. feeling, you know, spicy. Oh, good, I'm glad you did this, okay, yeah. Well done. Okay. Now, this, I, I, you have to tell me if this came up like this last year. I actually showed it as a rectangle, which I'll show in a second. You're doing groups, right? That's the way it looks like, okay? That's actually okay. I think, you know, but we have to really be careful. Is she showing N groups of N plus one or N plus one groups of N? N plus one groups of N or N groups of N plus one? Yeah, so one group of two, two groups of three. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but that's the way it looks to me. Okay, three, uh, yeah, four, three groups of four. That's totally okay. Okay, but if you're gonna do it that way, you can't also do it the rectangle way. Okay, so that one totally works. Um, I showed it like this. That doesn't mean mine's more right, okay? I would just say whatever you write should match. I did the whole guy like this, and it's n tall by n plus one, okay? I don't know if anybody showed it that way, okay? Can you do it her way? Yes. Can you do it my way? Yes. Can you do it both ways and count it as two equations? No. No, okay, that's like the idea. Okay, you could also do it this way, I suppose. Anybody show their groups like this? Yeah, Okay, same, same message, pick one. Okay, next job. Uh, anybody interested in n squared plus n plus one? Actually, Sarah, you can pick. Whoever raises their hand, you can pick. That always happens. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, you have n squared plus n plus one. No parentheses. Just trying to get it all the way squared. Um, this is going to lose a little bit. It's pretty close. This might be three and a half out of five or four out of five. What can we do to maybe clean it up just a bit? So you just add a different color. Yeah. So n squared plus one. 
Okay, typically when we see n squared, now this is new this year. You didn't do a lot of squares last year. I need to see an identified square. So if I was doing this, I would close off. I actually have the square here. I don't know if anybody else put it here. And then here, okay, and then yeah, this is okay. It would just help since they're separate objects, because there's no parentheses, I would have the one just different color. Okay, that's not okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Okay, so that is one way to do it. That's the way I would recommend doing it. Now, I don't know if anybody did it this way as well. Did anybody instead have the n squared here? Yeah? Okay, now wait, I, I, I've got thought here. If you're still gonna rock this way, then technically you're doing this. Right? And then where's that plus one up here? Yeah. Okay. Now, I had a couple of, did anybody like look, look at this and this and say, I could probably write it off as two different solutions? No? Okay. Well, what, tell me what you think of this. Okay? So, what we just saw here is like totally fine. Tell me what you think of this. So, n squared, n squared. I'm not doing figure one. Sometimes figure one's just a waste because there's not that many tiles, right? But does it have to work for figure one? Yes. Yeah, it does. Oh, yikes. That happens sometimes. You know who loved it when that happened? <laughs> All right. There's your daily shame thing. Shout out. Okay. Uh, here we are. So, and, 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 Okay, I, I'm just showing the one name adjusted. So boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this guy is done. Let me do this. And then just make this thing an entire. Can you get away with both of them? Yeah, you probably could. Okay, you probably could. Okay, so I, I, I can justify this. Now you might be like, come on, man. But you know what, sometimes life is full of, come on, man. Okay, I, it's still n squared plus n plus one. I grouped the n plus one, which means it's one tower, move the square over, okay? Now here's what I would not do. I hope, you're, I hope this is making sense. I would not do this. I would not say one solution is n squared, and then what's this guy, n plus one? And I would not do this, n squared, n, and one. That gets sent back. That's too similar. But I did move the square. Oh. If I move the square here and the n here and the n and the one are separate, I could probably write that off. I hope that makes sense, okay? Mm -hmm. Does anybody know the other way that you can show this one? There's another way. I didn't see anybody working on it yesterday. You're going to help me get there. Okay, ready? Check it out. I get asked all the time, can we use an equation and show it two ways? Yes, but it's rare. This is one of the rare situations. So I just showed this to you. This is the square and the tower. I'm wondering if anybody went for... Anybody look at this? You can say no, I don't care. I just want you to be honest. Anybody look at that diagonal? Let's get there together. Okay. Question is, how big is the diagonal? Let's check it. In figure one, it's two. In figure two, it's three. In figure three, it's four. Okay. So yeah, the diagonal is m plus one. The claim is what's left is m squared. Is it true? Yeah. It is. Now here's what you can't do. This one's obvious. One squared is one. You can't just circle this and say n squared. You know what I would do? I would rewrite it down here. If you take this guy and slide it in, what are you left with? n squared. If you take these three, and if you slide them, you complete kind of like a Tetris situation, n squared. 
Okay, it's okay if you didn't work at that. I, I every year I get like like one or two students across all the classes that try to find that diagonal. So, recap so far. Pretty much everybody has that one. Pretty much everybody has that one in some regard. I think a lot of you have this one with the tower. It also works with the diagonal. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, who's got this next one? This one's popular. This one's popular. Okay, you want to show it. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay. Do you work on? Yeah. Do I need to do all of them? Can you can you get that one? Yeah, do figure three. You got it. If it was out of your reach, I'd say no, but I think you're good. <laughs> yeah, then drag over. Yeah, there you go. Good. And then I would just mark it here. So mark that right there, right? Yes? Yeah. And then we, we addressed this the other day. I'm just trying to get you prepared. If I was doing this on the exam, if I wanted to leave, no doubt. It's n plus 1 squared. Do you know what would really help you? Yes. Yeah. Now, not doing it up here, I totally understand. Writing up on the board is a little wild. That didn't leave you a ton of space. But when you're doing this for, you know, when it counts next week, I would label the dimensions, that's to fill in the square, chop out n. Okay, perfect. How many of you have that solution? That's a very popular one. Now, did anybody do this before I get into the last one? Um, did anybody fill it in like more? Okay, did you notice you run into a little problem? You end up having to take away like the same pattern you begin with. I don't know if that if I'm telling you makes sense. But like here, like you have to get rid of part of the pattern. So it gets a little messy if you fill in too much. If you did fill in way more than what um, um, than what Tudor just did, you probably have a very messy equation. Okay? And one more. Does anybody have now this is just in general. Anybody have anything with like n minus ones and n plus ones? There's like a bunch of them. Okay. I'm, the, it might not be this exact one. Does anybody have this one? This last one, this final one? Do I show it? No? starts it out well, there's going to be, again, and, and we're, we're just saying this to get practice in. We're going to lose a couple points on this one, and I can tell you why. This is just an adjustment from previous year. The n plus 2 is solid. It's the starting piece. 
Okay, and actually there's a bunch of them where you have the starting piece and then you add on to it. Okay, I don't know if anybody knows why this is going to be an issue. When you multiply n minus 1 by n plus 1, do you know what shape I'm expecting every time? Hmm? I thought I heard it. What shape am I expecting? I'm expecting some kind of rectangle. Okay? Because you can't do this. You can't just circle this and say it's n minus 1, n plus 1. Something else I'm sure you like did last year. You just circled a bunch of them and said it's this amount. I gotta see the parts. So we're gonna take her idea and we're gonna adjust it slightly and watch what happens. Because I actually like what she did with the first piece with n plus two. Okay, so you're all gonna help me here. And we're gonna take it and I'm gonna tell you the difference, okay? So she says n plus two was this guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Is there somewhere else we can put the n plus two on the next figure? Okay, okay. I was actually thinking that. Anybody thinking that? Yeah. Okay. How about on the next figure? Same thing? Yeah. Okay. Now I have a couple thoughts here. One, is that always n plus two? Yeah. You gotta answer that one. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So now the question is, can I take her solution, which is valid, and can I make it look more like a rectangle? Okay, the answer is yes. We're not going to do figure one. Let's do figure two. It's one by three. That's n plus one long. N minus one. N minus one. Let's check this guy. Four by two. Oh, it's n plus one by n minus one. Quiz. Why isn't there a rectangle in the first one? Because one minus one is zero. Okay? So you know, will she get crushed for that showing it? No, she showed a good, a solid n plus two. The n plus two is steady. Okay, does, it, does that make sense? I had to make it a rectangle. Okay, I'm glad you got us going there. Okay, which is right there. Okay, perfect. Listen, I've seen a bunch of them. Okay, just to give you other ideas. Oh, round of applause. She did a good job. Okay, round of applause. I've seen a bunch of them too. Okay, where like people have moved this down here, filled in that rectangle chop them out. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do, but in general, okay, these are things that you're going to see because we're out of the linear stuff. If you have n squared, guess what shape I'm expecting? No. I'm expecting a square, okay? Specifically. That's not unreasonable, okay? And if you're multiplying dimensions, I'm expecting one of two things. I'm expecting a rectangle or I'm expecting groups like she showed, which actually would still be tricky, okay? You'll get more practice at. That was probably your first non-linear one. I think you actually did pretty well. Okay? Which is good. Okay, let's go to oh other things. Sorry. When you take the exam next week, it's not just the equations. I know they make up most of it, but the reason I want you doing the other questions is because you don't want to miss at these. So a quick sketch, something like this is totally fine. Something like this is totally fine. They're not supposed to take you forever. I get asked every year, can I come up with one equation that works and then go back and do all the questions? I need you to answer that. Yeah, yeah a lot of people actually like to do that. That's fine. But guess what? You better make sure you better make sure your equation works. Okay. What one is being used here? Uh So this person, which was me when I wrote this years ago, found an equation, felt really good about it, checked it once or twice, then went back and did the sketches and everything. You can totally do that if you want. But please don't skip all the other questions, okay? And I get asked, you can always use a calculator for this first exam. Then I'm going to take a calculator away from the next couple, and then give it back. That's the way that this class works. Okay, go to today. Go to the mini S. Look at that figure one. Yeah, as mentioned, okay? I, I was going to do a steak, but I've got a really good steak lesson later in the year. I don't want to burn all my good steak pictures in August, I promise. I got good ones. Anybody here not like steaks? Okay, in December, there's going to be a problem. But it's, it's just one day. It's just one day. It's just one day, okay? Um, yeah, maybe yes. There's a lot for this one, okay? A ton. Um, as mentioned from the, a couple times now, figure one, not that much to go off of, right? 
Okay, it's still got to work for figure one, but maybe you start with figures two, three, and four, kind of work your way back. Okay, whole task in order, work four or five equations. I've got a bunch. Getting the five that you can prove should really be your target. Okay, you can work with whomever you want. I'm not going to do random groups again for this. Okay, but please make sure you do all the other questions. Okay, and go for it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, that one. That one. Yeah. All right, let's go. Come on. Yes. Yeah.